When I started Side Gig Guy, I knew what I wanted to do way ahead of time. I had it all planned out, but I still got some good advice from friends along the way. Uh, one of those people, HG, suggested that I should get a mailing address because she said there will be times when people may want to actually send you products to evaluate or things like that. And so, of course, I went and I got one and I never really got any mail uh, until just recently because my birthday is in December and it was the holidays and I kind of retired from uh, Comcast. And so she sent me sort of a combination gift thing that I'm going to open for you today. So it just arrived at my mailbox today and it was a, a little bit busted up, but uh, everything inside was intact, I'll tell you uh, in advance. So uh, I opened it up and the first thing I got was a real nice card. And uh, thank you very much uh, for the card, Hillary. I really appreciate it. The next thing that was inside was um, a puzzle. And the puzzle was actually a candy puzzle. The picture was uh, like a candy box. And so my wife and I, Joanne, we put the puzzle together. Joanne said she can uh, laminate it and make a uh, mouse pad out of it. So we're going to use that as that was a great gift also because we can make something into it that's practical as well. The next thing was chocolate bars. And these are good chocolate bars. They are Tony's chocolate bars, different flavors, uh, hazelnut, uh, caramel sea salt, uh, so we like that. This next thing was a little confusing to me. It's uh, Procom Plus. And, you know, I know I should remember what this was for. I think it was for like file transfers or communication, something like that. I don't know, composing email. Um, anyway, so that, those are all just kind of junks. Like uh, one time she sent me a uh, Comcast self install kit, uh, which obviously is, you know, from way back in the 90s. Uh, maybe I should explain a little bit uh, what HG does. So she's a real smart entrepreneur and she's been in the book business for some time now. Uh, in fact, at one point when she was based out of uh, the California area, she was the largest uh, female used bookseller uh, in the country. So very successful. Uh, but since then, it's kind of downsized a little bit. But what she does is get, she gets these things called Gaylords. And uh, maybe I'll get on the internet and figure out you know the actual de dictionary definition. But but what they are are big pallets of stuff and used books and stuff. And sometimes in these things, there's other things that uh, a value that she can sell besides the used books, uh, sometimes computers and other stuff. So a lot of these things that she sent me came from uh, one of her Gaylords. The next thing is a, a little gem. It's uh, a CD and the people singing are William Shatner and Leonard Nimoy, obviously the original Kirk and Spock from Star Trek. But it's kind of like a spoof CD, I think. It's got like these comical songs, like If I Had a Hammer by Leonard Nimoy. And uh, so I think you'll be hearing some of this music in the future. And then the last thing that came out was something still in its wrapper. I have no idea of its value, uh, if it's worth a lot or if it's uh, going to be worth a lot. But it's a Star Trek Next Generation comic book. And so I'm going to put that up on a nice safe place and leave it right in the wrapper. So that's the mailbag here at Sidekick Guy. Thanks for watching. And thank you, Hillary.